The highest gas prices in the country aren't in Hawaii or Alaska. They're right here in California where I live. So I'm always on the lookout for the best prices at the pump. I'm retired now, so I don't drive as much as I used to. I don't have a full-time job that I have to get to every day, so that's a plus. That helps. But I still need to run errands every week. I still end up driving more than I would like to. So when I recently heard about the Gas Buddy app, I definitely wanted to try it out. Now, there seems to be two different ways to use the app. The first way is pretty simple. You just open the app, you put in your location, your zip code, and the app automatically finds the lowest priced gas in your area. I live in the city of Palm Springs, and fortunately for me, the lowest price gas station is also one of the closest to where I live. It's just a few miles away. The Pilot gas station just off of the 10 freeway on Indian Canyon is where I've been filling out my tank ever since we've lived here. I've driven around town and around the desert, and I've never been able to find gas any cheaper, so the app just confirmed that. If I'm willing to drive all the way down to Palm Desert, then I can save about 10 cents per gallon at Costco or Sam's Club. But I figured it out and it would actually cost me a lot more to drive down there to save gas than I would actually save. I think I would spend a dollar more actually to drive down there for the cheaper gas because it's just not that big of a difference. But there are times when I need to go to Palm Desert for other things. So if I can time it right and my gas tank is nearly empty, then I can fill up with gas while I'm there doing other things anyway and make the savings worthwhile. So finding the lowest price gas stations in your area makes the app super helpful. This way I can actually check ahead of time and a new gas station opened up even closer to our home. It's about half the distance that I drive to get to Pilot and last week I filled up and the price was the exact same price as Pilot so there was no need to drive all the way to Pilot to get the cheaper gas. So in that way, the app can really be helpful. And for any traveling I might do in the future, I will definitely open up the app and look where I'm not familiar with the, the price of gas or where the gas station is located. I can easily then locate the lowest price gas station near me. So that's super helpful and I highly recommend it to all of you. It's a free app. It takes just a few minutes to download it. And I'm sure it will save you a lot of money in gas over the years. I only wish I had discovered it earlier. Now, the second way you can save money using Gas Buddy is to use their card. They have, it's not actually a credit card, it's more like a debit card. Apparently, you connect it to your bank account, so the, the funds come out of your bank account and go into the Gas Buddy card. And then when you're at the gas station, instead of your credit card or your debit card, you insert your Gas Buddy card. They send you an email telling you what, you, what your savings are, and they vary dramatically depending on the gas station, depending on all kinds of other things. And there's only a certain percentage and that varies depending on usage and depending on quite a few other variables which again seems overly complicated to me. You can also pay for the premium card and I believe it's a monthly subscription and that gives you uh, higher savings and I guess if you do a lot of driving or are able to take advantage of some of the higher discounts that are offered then maybe that makes sense for you but as I say I'm retired I drive as little as possible and I really don't drive that much anymore each month so I typically now now only fill up my tank maybe once a month, sometimes twice a month. But again, from what I read, gas money is accepted at most gas stations or at an awful lot of gas stations around the country, but apparently it's not accepted at Costco or Walmart or Sam's Club gas stations or Arco, some of the more discounted gas prices. So if you're able to go to one of those gas stations, you might actually save a lot more than if you went to another gas station and used the card and took advantage of their discounts. For me, right now, it makes more sense just to use my cash back card that I received from AARP, which gives me 3% cash back on my gas purchases. I typically can get back a dollar or more when I fill up my tank. I have a pretty small tank. If I had a larger tank, I'd probably get back a couple of dollars. And from what I can gather by looking at the different rates that are available and offered on Gas Buddy, at least for me, I think I'm saving more by not using their card, but just by using my regular cash back AARP card and getting my discount that way. So I can use my cash back credit card to get my discount and some money back 
possibly even a higher discount than with the Gas Buddy card. And I can just use the Gas Buddy app, which by the way, you can also access online. It's also a website. So if you don't want to put the app on your phone or you don't have a phone that you can put an app on, then you can visit the Gas Buddy website and get the same information as far as where the lower priced gas stations are located. Now, if you don't have a credit card that gives you cash back or you're not able to, for whatever reason, to, to get a, a credit card or the credit card that you're able to get doesn't offer you cash back or maybe it offers is a very low cashback discount, then it might make more sense and might be much more beneficial to you financially, savings wise at the pump, to get one of the free Gas Buddy cards and use that instead. So I really think that Gas Buddy app can be used in a lot of different ways by a lot of different people and there are a lot of different variables. So you have to investigate for yourself and to see what works best for you. It does seem overly complicated and maybe they'll simplify it in the future. I believe their card is relatively new, maybe just in the last year. They started offering that. Before that, I think it was just an app to help you find the gas stations offering the best prices. That makes the app absolutely fantastic, especially if you're out traveling. You might be like me and you might already know the gas stations with the best prices. But when you're traveling, you usually have no clue where you're going to be able to get the best deals. So how many of you already use this app? Have you had success? Do you use it with their card or do you just use it with your own credit card or do you just use it just to find the lowest price gas stations? Share with us if you've been able to figure out a way to save even more using this app. Definitely share that with all of us as well. It'd be nice to know if you've figured out some hacks that can save even more money using this app. I've heard there are other gas apps out there, but from everything I've heard so far, Gas Buddy seems to be the best. What do you think? Which is your favorite? Is Gas Buddy your favorite, or do you prefer one of the other apps that help you save money at the pump? I'd love to know what you think. And if you found today's video helpful, you might also like this one. Until next time, remember, the best things in life are free, or you can at least usually find them on the cheap. <laughs>